Hello my friends, John LaRue here with another solo session. And in this episode, we're gonna play World Wonders. So we're gonna do it with the solo mode on B-side. And we're also gonna play on the hard setting, which isn't that much harder. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, folks, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you have, I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. We always begin with the solo. Um, bot, if you will. So he's going to take this away from me and this away from me. I've got the Petra and the Chichen Itza that I can put out. And so that's actually not so bad to get off the ground right away. Should be able to do that right here. So let's go ahead and spend four and put this out right here. That'll give me the building blocks I need for that. Okay. And what does he want to do? He wants to push this off to the side. So the question is, do I push my luck just a smidge more? I think I want to with the um, intention of, of trying to surround this guy right here. I, see, I can also get that. Uh, that will give me seven. I'm going to push my luck just a little more and get myself kind of moving. So we're going to go do this. We'll grab these. and We'll just start to build a little bit of a road kind of up and out this away, just to give me some potential options in the future. All right, let's see what he does. Hopefully not take away that one. All right, uh, oh, that was close. So he is gonna score a point because he does get this. We'll put his stuff, here, let's move this box over. We'll put his right here. So that's what you do in this game. You got to risk it for the biscuit a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy right there. And, oh, when I built that, of course, we have these going up. All right. And with this, I can fit it in. I have the requirements. So I spend the rest of my money. We're going to put it right here. And that meets the expectations because it's next to the purple and next to a road. So I go ahead and score one more of these. And there we go. Rounds over. Let's reset the lots of different things here. These go off to the side. Have that back in play. Round number two. All right, and what are we getting here for this card? Okay, the lighthouse. Well, one way to do the lighthouse is to get that blue one in there pretty quickly. That can't hurt, give me set up, but we have to let him choose first. So he wipes out the roads for my choices. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get this, this is five. And I know I wanna put the lighthouse kinda of right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and work that in just like that. And bump myself up four, which will give me two on this track. And what does he do? Well, he wants to take that, he can't, so he's gonna take this. Put that off to the side. I'm good with where I am. I don't need to push it anymore. I'm going to grab the lighthouse. So I have it next to everything I need. There we go. Put that in there, getting this stuff in play, and we should be good. All right, so there's the second round. I love about the fact this game, you can really kind of hustle through it. When you know what you want to do and you can make some good decisions quickly, there's not a lot of bureaucracy or steps or different things to slow you down. You just kind of play quickly and enjoy the fun of a polyomial building game. All right, so now he's going to reshuffle. There's the reshuffle card. Get these out here too. <clears throat> so the way the hard mode works is he's going to score one, he's going to score for each of my levels on there, plus any of the wonders that he has also built like the petro over there so he gets a point for that all right he's going to take this away from me um hmm i need a couple things number one i'd like to get some red pots that would be the good thing to start with but none of these really need red they need green i don't have green so I could start to work out a situation with the aqueduct, which is probably what I will do. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend five for this. 
and we'll put it here. Oh, uh, that's not going to be quite good enough because that aqueduct, as you see, it'll be one away. So it needs to touch the road, the river, and a green tile. So what I'll do is I'll put the green here. That'll bring these up too. And there's another one of those. All right. <clears throat> he wants this tile. Oops. Toss that out there. Now, the other thing I could do, which I don't have a ton of time for, I could start to fuss around with towers or other things. But that is probably not the best approach. I could build a road over here. Meh, I don't love that either. I could take the easy way out and just build it like this, but that would cover up a point, cost me a point. I think what I will do is I will build the road for one in hopes that he doesn't pull what I'm looking for, good. All right, so now I can go ahead and build this aqueduct. Gives me another one of these. And now I can build it in this direction because that's totally legitimate. As long as it's on the land on both sides and crosses over a river, we're good. And that is the situation. See, it's got one there, one, two, three, and one there. Oh, okay, I don't wanna overextend. There we go. All right, aqueduct in place, round is over. Toss these down. Here we go. A bridge. All right, he wants to do this. Take away that from me. Now, what am I got? What am I going to be doing here? Well, <clears throat> I could try for that, but I like the bridge a little better. The bridge also needs a green, and I have green available to me on a road. So I really could continue this process here of kind of working this out. If I put that green down here, the only issue is I'm a little shy on space for that road, but I think I can, I can um, make it work. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's spend the five. So taking this, if I, whoops, if I was to build this, oh, I can't really do what I was hoping because that won't work. This needs to be touching a road. And if I do this, I block off the road over there. All right, let's think of something else. So let's not do that right now. Let's maybe focus on filling out a few more different things and I can use this as a B plan. So let's get this in place over here. This will cost me four. And here, <clears throat> this just screams the right spot to put it, even though there is going to be some little spaces over there. Maybe that's not the greatest. It doesn't scream, I guess. But it would allow me to... I might be able to get away with this with some proper road placement and such later. Let's go do that, because that allows me to move these up. And that's two more moves here. Okay, let's see what he's going to do. He wants this road. Well... That's unfortunate because that's the one I was going to build just now. I could end my turn by pulling this, but I don't think so. I think the best thing to do would be to spend two to get this tower, put that over here. That at least fills in one of my spaces next to this guy. All right, let's hope. Okay, he is able to pull this. If he's able to pull either or, he takes it. Now I feel like I've spent enough. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get this in play and it just needs to be next to a natural resource and an H building so it can easily fit right there and we're good to go okay let's see what's coming next the anchor watt anchor watt pardon me all right What's he going to do? He is going to take, darn, take down that little road again that I wanted so badly. Um, this wouldn't be the end of the world, though, to start to pivot to fill in some stuff over here. Both of these are going to require 
some work uh, in that regard to try to fit everything in. This is probably the easiest play, so I can pull this for four. Put this down over here. And that's setting me up to put that wonder right there. So it'll be two of these, one of these. Okay, Let's see what he wants to do. He says this little guy. Um, so yeah, I easily have that in play, but I'd like to do one more building first. So I'm gonna push it a little bit. And I think I'm gonna put that other purple here. That's three, one, two, three. So I put that over there. Reason being, I'm just trying to edge up there, plus it'll help me uh, kind of fill in the gaps here. Okay, let's see what he's gonna do. Reshuffle. Okay. Now, the question I have is, do I take a loan or do I pull, um, do I pull the wonder, I'm sorry, do I just pass and go to the next round? We'll find out what he does. He wants to take down the rows. Okay, so I only have a couple things out here. I'm going to take the loan. So I take the loan basically so that I can get this. And that will put it over here. Score me my extra point. Fill that in. Of course, it leaves this a little bit unhinged, but we'll see what we can do. Okay. This round is done. I have the loan to pay off now. This is in play. And what wonder are we wondering about? Big guy, okay. That's not a bad one. All right, <clears throat> he's gonna pull this down. Well, I'm gonna take this advantage right now to get this for one. And I might as well spend the other three, so that'll be four. So I can pay off this loan. And then, with this in play, I'm able to do a couple things. First of all, let's go fill in some gaps. That way I'm scoring points. We'll just fill in those for the moment. Because that's easy peasy work there. All right. Happy with that, because that surrounds, gets me some points. Let's see what he does. He wants the little road, he can't take it. All right, so he takes this one away from me, the ziggurat. That's too bad, but sometimes that happens. Okay, oh, all right. I don't have anything set up for that, so I can't go after that, but I still would like to consider this bridge if at all possible. I'm a little low on resources, but that's okay. I've got a plan, watch this. So we're gonna go spend one, two, and I will put, well, yeah, we need to get over on this side anyway. I'm going to go ahead and put this, actually, I'm going to put this right here, up top. Oh, I don't have to do that. I've got an even better plan. Let's not do that. Let's spend just the one to build this. And this bridge, oh no, it doesn't work because that's in a water spot. Fiddlesticks. So I can't do that exactly what I was hoping. The other question I have is, yeah... I could abandon that entire plant. No, we're just going to do what I did before. All right, so we'll go with two <clears throat> right there. Put this over here. Let's see what he wants to do. He wants this one. All right, now I can spend the one and I can put this in play over here. So... I'm not really helping myself now that I think about it because this bridge needs to be, all right, I'm not gonna spend the one there. Hmm. Or maybe I'll do it like this. Yeah, this is also not a bad idea. I'll put this road over here that'll give me some access to some other things. All right, and I spent the one on that. Um, right there. Okay. So I'm done passing.
All right, now what? Well, that road. So I don't get the big road out, but that's okay. Question is, what I'm, what I, I've got a couple of things to do. This one probably makes the most sense right now, um, except that green building is inconveniently bigger than I need it to be. Hmm. And there's no good way to squirrel it around there, so maybe I ought to abandon that idea for the moment, just for the moment, and spend one on roads here. Then what I can do is at least I can fill, no, I can't. I can't do what I wanted to do. All right, um, I could do this. I have another idea. So if I was to, to put this in play, is there enough room? Not quite. Goodness. All right. Well, at least I'm going to cover that up to close that off. And... Hmm. I need to get a green in play where it's not inconvenient. And if I was to do this, that might give me some opportunity in the future for something else. I'm just gonna do that and see what happens. Okay, he wants to yank that. What I'd love to do is find a good spot to put this in here, but there is nothing good about any of these spots. I guess this one is probably the best. Even though it covers the natural resource, I still have room for my, my wonder, and I'm fine with that. So that is a four. We're going to do that. Okay, he's going to take this. I'm going to take this right now. <clears throat> kind of missed out on other things. At least that'll put that over here. And that puts that in place. So there are touches. We're good. All right. Continuing on now, whoops, let's get these out. Okay. He wants to take big road. <clears throat> I need to move this up. Best way to do that would be, of course, to combine, oh, pyramids. Mm. Pyramids are big and bulky. They do score two points, but they're not easy to deal with because you have to surround. There's, that's probably not where I'm going. My better choice, I think, would be to finagle a bridge if I can. So let's spend that one. What am I doing? I never reset this. Okay. So if I spend the one and I go like this, if I put this thing down here, and then I'm able to build a green, I can still get a bridge. Let's do that. Let's spend one here. And in this case, um, yeah, I cheated there. Darn it all. Sorry, folks. I just realized that I put these things in spots. This one can go there. That's legitimate, but that's not. The reason it's not is because there's no road connecting to it. So let me just reassign it over here, which means it won't do me any good, but it also won't, um, it won't be really... A, uh, a distraction. All right. Or it won't give me any points either. That's what I meant. So, <clears throat> let's prepare that bridge idea. We have that. We're going to end up with a green over here. So where's that green? That green can fit in that direction so um i guess at this point i'm just gonna put these down here it's not the greatest it's gonna get near this i'm gonna spend two on this three on this pardon me and that puts this over is that gonna be enough room yeah, you know what I needed to do? 
Hold on. I do need these. I need these because I need to get this bridge in a space that's going to work. It has to touch the green and it has to touch a row. So I need it to go, I need it to start back here, but I think, see, that's a problem. It has to be right there. So what I need to do is, oh, for pity's sake, I need to stop struggling so mightily. That's what I need to do. All right, I've got another idea. I'm gonna make this a little bit easier on myself. Let's go ahead and put this over here and we're gonna put these back because they weren't in play. All right, now with that over there, yeah, okay, it's his turn. Let's see what he does. He wants that, he can't get it, so he's gonna take this. now. I don't have the right stuff here, so I'm gonna have to go like this for a tower. Let's put the tower up here. Is that gonna be what I want to do? If I put the tower, if I put the tower here, the bridge can fit like this. I need it to be one more over. I need the tower to be like that, so I can put the bridge right there. I'm really struggling with this bridge. Okay, I built the tower. It can take this. Uh, I'm gonna pass. So I unfortunately kind of clogged myself, which isn't the greatest situation here. What's it gonna do? Reshuffle, about time. Oh, and I gotta get out these. takes away the road that I don't need, thankfully. All right, I'm gonna spend the one on the roads that I do need. And my question is, am I going to be able to pull off? Maybe I will, this would be a longer shot, but okay, let's put this one here. Then let's put this one here and here. Okay, what's it gonna do? Wants this one, it's fine with me. Now, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do all that. We're still gonna take the risk. I need the red, there's just no other way around it. I know that doesn't score me a ton on the, I'm not gonna be able to surround it, but at least it puts this into play and I go one, two, three, Four. So that effectively boosts me up pretty good there. And I crossed one. All right. What's he going to do? Don't take it away. Okay. So I can finally build this stinking bridge. It does go there. That is legitimate. It's got green. It's got road. And it bumps this up. Yes. I'm scoring on that. Okay. So last round. Here we go. Let's see what we can pull off here. The Great Wall. Ooh. I think I might be able to do the Great Wall, and that'll be really good and helpful, too. So let's see if there's any point in risking anything else. First, we see what he wants to do. He's going to take away this. So that would have been a nice building to build. I could build that one. <clears throat> Great Wall is going to fit nicely into there. What I think I will do is I'll spend three to put this out. That'll go up one. Now, as long as it doesn't take my great wall. All right, good. And I'm not risking any, any uh, loss of this. So I'm gonna do the great wall. I can touch, oh, can I touch a road? Let's see. 
<clears throat> nope, I have to take one more risk. So we are going to need to make this work. If I put this over here, I think I can make it work. It's gonna, it's gonna be a little sloppy, but it's gonna work. All right, so he goes for this, and now I'm going for the Great Wall. And with that, I'm gonna take these three here. Let's see if we can pull this off. So one of them must touch a road, like so. One of them must touch that and then that. Yeah, that's that works. And I don't think there's any better way to do it. I'm happy with that. They're at least touching one another like they're supposed to because they have to touch at least, at least on a corner. They have to touch a natural resource, a road, and an H building. All right, that's good. And that bumps me there too. Cool. Okay, let's see how we did. Now he is going to score 12 plus 11 is 20, uh, 23 plus 10. So 33. So I've got 33, 34, 35. That's a big score for him. Let's use this as him. 35. Yeah, 12. Just want to be sure, kind of that 23, 33, 34, 35. Okay. Don't know if we're going to get there, but we're going to try. All right. So the first thing we score is three for my rings over here. Then my lowest is a 10. A 13. Then my rings here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Puts me to 21. Then number of uh, resources still showing that are touching things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, did I count that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. All right, eight. That's good. Puts me to 29. Oh, man, this is going to be close. I've got one that did not get filled. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nuts. So had I been playing on easy, I would have won by one point. But because I was playing on hard, he beat me right there. That's pretty good, though. I'm pretty happy with 34 points. Um, so yeah, there you go. This is a fun little game. I really like it. I just like building stuff. There's no doubt about it. It's got a little toy factor too, because these things look cool, right? They're nice, high quality, um, you know, screen printed minis or what do you want to call them? Not minis, but they're little structural wooden pieces and they look good and they're fun. And this is a lot of fun. I just like that little puzzle to solve. Sorry about the screw ups there with some of the roads, but I made it all work and, uh, it didn't really affect you know, anything, it didn't didn't break anything. Just sometimes get the narration going, kind of lose track of what I'm doing. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Whatever you decide to do in the future, I really hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy now.